And that sounds means, yep, that's all right. Another episode of Seven Days to Die. So welcome back, everyone. Uh, it has actually been a day. I did a recording. It did not turn out well at all. And unfortunately, yes, that footage was lost. Not much happened. As you can see in the bottom left, I have a broken foot. It has been somewhat fixed. But I got three levels last episode, and I put all of the levels into science so that I could start getting the cement mixers. And voila, here they are. So I made two cement mixers overnight because today is day 14, which means we have a horde night tonight. That's going to suck. I'm not really ready for it. Oh, that's right, I can't run. Uh, let's see, I was trying to make the spikes. Uh, I was hoping for iron, but yeah, it's going to be forged iron. All right, well, we're going to have to pump out a lot of this forged iron because this episode, it's pretty much going to be trying to get as much done as we can in preparation for Horde Night. So we're going to split these up. Here, we'll throw this in here, throw this in here. I now have a lot of sand. I've got, okay, so roughly that much. And, oof, okay. Not a lot of stone. So we're going to slowly walk over here, and hopefully my leg does well. Uh, let's see. So, 740. We're going to get that mixed, and then we're going to do the rest of it here. This next level up that I get, I'm going to put into actually getting the number of resources harvested increased so that when I start overnight, because as you can see, I now have myself a little dig hole going all the way down for resources so that I can start doing and mining stuff overnight. I don't have to go outside. Uh, the base, but I do want to get these upgraded at least. I do want to have iron spikes all around the base because this horde night, we're staying here. I feel comfortable enough with my double barrel. I want to see about making some more shotgun shell ammo. Definitely for that. Unfortunately, though, I don't really have anything else to help me, uh, which is kind of a shame. But... If they break through it, then all heck is going to go loose and it's not going to be enjoyable. So, there was a few things I think outside that also needed to be upgraded. I'm going to grab the remaining cobblestone. Okay, another thousand stack of it. And we're going to need more stone itself. I would like to go out and do some looting and stuff, but... Mm, with the tier 2 aspect of it... I'm not 100% sure I want to do that. Okay, yes, yeah, so we got these corner pieces to upgrade. All right, it looks like the way is clear. Nice, I can get the corner pieces from over here. Yeah, this spraying leg really, really sucked. Uh, I got two of the tier two quests done in that episode. Tried to push for a third one, but it was at a like a um, food depot uh, with silos in it that I'd never seen before. And unfortunately, I did not complete that. Actually, I failed that, to be honest with you. Not very enjoyable. But it was a gather and a kill all. And I was there really late night at night. Uh, yeah, give me that. And unfortunately, I couldn't find all the zombies. And I had to get back, and then I fell, and then I broke my leg. Uh, yeah, not a very, very good event on that one. Okay, so everything to this point is upgraded, and I'm going to get that at some point as well. Oh, this 11 minutes really needs to hurry up. So what I'm going to do is wait for this cement stuff to happen. I'm going to start doing the forged iron so that we can start making our spikes around the base because that's definitely what we're going to need and slowly do this as well.
All right, so the time is definitely getting a little late. We're just gonna take some coin and some sellables. Yeah, nope, we're, <laughs> we're gonna punch some coin and sellables. That's how that's gonna work. I have pretty much gotten everything as durable as I'm gonna get it. The plan is to attack them through the cave. All right, chicken, I really need you. You somehow survived a motorcycle hit. You and I ran over there with a bicycle many, many a times. You survived a motorcycle. But the plan is to take them through the front entrance where the ladder hatches are. If that fails, then I'm going to take the three remaining blocks that connect to the base so that they'll start coming for the base itself. And that's kind of my backup plan for that. So, let's see if she's got anything. Oh, I could really use a generator. And to be honest, really, really use a generator. All right, so you do have more shotgun shells. That's all my coin just about, though. Uh, let's see. You don't have a shotgun whatsoever. Hmm. Do I have... Don't let a zombie dog bite you in the ass on your way out. And if he does, hey, that. we'll take care of it for you. Let's check the vending machine. Let's see if there's any of the candy. Unfortunately, there are none. What is that? Sneak duration. Yucca juice. Smoothie. Mm. Maybe next time I'll have Can what you I need. Can I craft a generator? Let's see. I cannot. Okay, so to be honest, I kind of want to buy your generator and you've only got one post. No, I was hoping you had two. Hmm. Okay. So that's going to be somewhat of a problem. You have another one in here? You do not. How much coin do I have left? I have 2,200. Okay, we're just gonna buy another 40 Thank shotgun so shells. Hey, come again. All right, I've stocked up with just about as much as I can. The next couple of points, because I did get two levels up, I put those in the resource gathering. So now I gain 40% more resources because I'm gonna need to really build a horde base. I kind of have something in mind. And we're gonna keep all of this out just in case I got to get on the bike and run. I'm hoping that's not the case, but everything's been upgraded. I've actually extended this out one and the plan is of course to stay right here when they come up, start beating them with our bat because I, I did get a wooden bat and uh, our metal bat with our spikes on it and the flame. Uh, if worse comes to worse, we go with our shotgun. I am going to have Molotovs on me. I am going to have a bunch of the, let me grab it here. Our AK, which we don't need this here. Okay, I didn't sell anything, so that's fine. We can worry about that later. And we're gonna put this just in everything for now. Lockpick, harvesting. All right, gonna hang on to this so we get some extra melee damage. I do have a pistol with me as well. And we're going to bring a few of these. Let's go ahead and repair the pistol. I'm going to keep our stuff that we don't need for Horde Knight in our burnable container. So that all I have to do the next morning, I don't want that, is just switch things out. All right, everything is looking really good. And like I said, this is the main defense. If they happen to break past all these, I'm going to remove these so that they're going to start coming for down here. I hope this is how this is going to work. Now, it's worked previously, but I've got the first row of iron spikes. 
in the second row of wooden spikes. And I've actually had to dig out a lot of this as well. So it becomes pretty much flat. But everything's been upgraded to concrete. I have no concrete on me. I need to get iron for our hatches and our cement for the repairs. And we got more burning. I'm not going to use those just yet. Now let's see for science. Electrical devices. Okay, so I need another level up. So I need six points. So I need two more levels and intellect and then I can get the electrician so we can start getting electric electric fences going. Now does that also include forged steel and electric devices? I was hoping it'd be the blades. But I'll have to figure that out when it comes to it. So I need to eat a little bit. And other than that, we will be good to go for this horde base. I am going to have some coffee on me also so I can keep my stamina up with the melee. And where's our food? Go ahead and drink another yucca juice. And we're going to keep five coffee on us. And everything else should be set. This is about as ready as I'm going to be. So here's hoping. All right, it is almost time. I've upgraded our ceiling to cobblestone as well. I've upgraded our front door to reinforced iron. I don't think I can get any more prepared tonight than what we've got now. So, ladies and gentlemen, Horde Night number two at main base. Whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But I can hear them outside. Looks like they're breaking on a bunch of sticks. They are coming to the front door, uh, which is fantastic. So this will slow them down just a little. That is so incredibly loud. Can I get that loot bag from here? I cannot. Okay. Definitely too close here. Let's go ahead and use a coffee. Oh, they're getting through. How are you getting through? Oh no. Okay. Uh oh. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? No fire! Okay. <laughs> oh no. And I gotta use my honey. It looks like the door went down. No. Oh. Alright. This is not a good time to be starting back up on Horde Night. Here, let's go with the Molotov. Get that baby burning. I did use my honey. Yep, so okay. I'm good to go with the infections. Let's go ahead and repair. Excellent. Hopefully we get a few levels up out of this. Oh, gosh, there are a lot of them. Oh. I can't play around like this anymore. You cannot get close at all with these swings. They hit you from so far away. Oh, I did it again. All right, go ahead and read a level on our shotgun. And let's go ahead. Uh-oh. No, what are you doing? Even though we got one mo left. Oh, of course. 
<laughs> All right, drink, drink, drink. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right. Oh, the shotgun. You're failing me, bro. All right, he's going to get through if I'm not careful. Come on, you can do better than this. Although, okay. I mean, you know what? I'm not going to try to talk to you. No, I'm not going to try and talk smack. <laughs> I'm really not. I can't do that. Okay, they are definitely coming in waves here. Let's let them sweat it out a little bit here, take a few shots at range. say let's give our ammo a little break here and use our bat no there we go What do we got for this loot? Okay, not bad. Whew. All right. <laughs> the trap door works very well. I will give it that. Just wish I wasn't so bad at this. Uh oh. Hey. Got to go back with our shoddy. Again. I'm really bad at stepping in the flames. We are gaining some serious levels here. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm staying back this time. Let's go ahead and reload all of our weapons here while they kind of burn out. Keep this reloaded. Whew. Okay. 
Go ahead and use a bandage. I am just seriously beaten up, though. Oh, I hear dogs. Stamina is doing okay, so we're hanging in there with the bat. Ooh, time is moving so slow. <laughs> it really is. Oh. I hear someone underneath. Let's go check out and see what's going on. All right, so we did have someone come over here. All right. Thankfully, like the iron spikes definitely held up and didn't for their own. Okay, so first and foremost, I need to get taken care of, so I need... Okay, I need one of these. Can't use that at the time. The abrasion. Concussion, that's going to be under health. Alright. So let's go look at the damage that was done. Oh, wow, look at all the loot bags. And there's a couple blue ones. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, $560. And, okay, not bad. Alright, some food is always helpful. Hey, a map. Oh, that's our first treasure map. That's awesome. Okay, there's a dog. Is that a dog or a deer? Oh, it's a deer. Okay. I might have to get him because I do need meat. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and learn that. All right, more shotgun shells. And, okay, do 10 more percent damage against deer. So much loot. That's oh, that's awesome. Hey, very nice. All right. A level six wrench. Now the damage itself out here was not bad. There's really not much of it. Okay, so aside from me getting too close and lighting myself on fire many of occasions, <laughs> it wasn't too bad of a night. That, that wasn't too bad at all. So I'm going to get everything start to put away. That is the end of Horde Night number two that we did at our base. Uh, thankfully, that went fairly well. Not too bad. But ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy the episode, please thumbs up down below. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. If you have not, hit that subscribe button for more content. Have a great day, y'all, and I will see you in the next one. Now, bye-bye.